Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. Um, yeah, I am just leaving uh, my last delivery of the day and yeah. It's a little bit tight to get in here and a little bit tight to get out so I thought I would film leaving. Didn't film coming in because I didn't realise it was going to be like this but yeah. It's a tight country lane. This is the farm that I'm delivering or been delivering to but um, yeah getting out of here isn't going to be easy so um well, it's going to be easy we're just going to get on with it we're not going to make a big fuss about it because at the end of the day we've just got to go where we got to go but yeah some points in this i'm going to be talking other points i'm not um yeah i'm hoping that you can see clearly out the front camera and also with this camera here that you'll be able to see sort of how close I am to the edge as well and at points if it's safe I will stop and uh, put the camera outside so you guys can see how close we get as well so um, yeah with the machine on with all the low branches and stuff like that I had to watch that on the way in because the machine is taller than what the cab is so um, yeah extra care was taken but now I've not got that to worry about just going over the old way bridge that way bridge as it says on it which you wouldn't have seen has a maximum weight of 20 tons oh how times have changed right first things first we're turning right it is a farm it's got plenty of wide access but yeah no issues there and there is a few other farms so I know we fit see I've got in here but I knew we were going to fit anyway to turn these beacons off because um yeah the tractors and stuff have to get here On my way in, I met several cars along here. But, yeah. It's not that difficult. I know there are people that make a big song and dance about it. But, yeah, it's all right. slowing down now because I've got this corner coming up which I can't quite see around. Now I can see right up into the distance. I know I can carry on. It's a little bit narrower here. It's mainly because of the, uh, the bushes and stuff but as you can hear they're uh, hitting the wing mirrors but we still just crack on and we are touching the other side you might not be able to hear that one it's not so close to the microphone opens up a little bit up here because there's another load of farm buildings and a junction a few houses just watch it through here it's a bit bumpy around this corner so again I'm slowing down there we go loads of room it's a bit narrow again overhanging branches The only issue you'll really ever come across 
is when you've got uh, other vehicles coming away the other way and there's no passing places for a little while but as long as um, everybody's sensible it's plenty wide enough worst bit is actually when we get into the housing estate in a minute because uh, the way they've designed the roundabouts yeah I know they're not expecting trucks to be coming round but it's not that long on this country road but down a bit. Yeah. People that make a big fuss about it, they obviously don't do it very often or they're doing it because they think the over dramatics is going to get them views and subscribers and stuff but it does but that's not really how most of the time it gets dealt with. We um, come straight over this roundabout here. But because of these stupid cobble bits on there that are all over the place, and I mean these ones are nearly ripped up. Because of the tractors and stuff that keep coming over them, Why do they just didn't make the roundabout smaller and leave the rest of it tarmac? I don't know. But come along here. Look at that roundabout in front of us, like. Yeah. They could have made that so much more level. this one doing this blue one which you probably can't see now there we go we have to go on to the roundabout to make this corner because of the bollard that's on the left so much easier if it was just a normal normal roundabout again we've got the same thing here going right at this roundabout. Don't know if you can see it out of this camera here, but yeah, nearly hit that curb in front of us. That's going all the way up in the air. If you're wondering where we are as well, uh, we are in Andover, my hometown. I say we're in Andover, we're on the outskirts as such. Uh, we were just at a place called Finkley, that's where the farm was. It's right round about as well. Um, yeah, you may know that there's another truck vlogger from Andover trucking around with Jono. Um, yeah. If you've seen any of his videos, I know recently he did a video where he uh, came to his parents' house. It's just over there. Yeah. I think he normally tries to park in this lay-by here. Um, this is the burger van I think he sometimes comes to as well. And um, yeah, you can't park here, the industrial estate is through the houses that way, so um, yeah, he'll head there. But um, yeah, that's where Jono's house is. Just keeping an eye on, again going over these roundabouts. There we go, loads of room. And my house is over there, the other side of those trees in front of us at the roundabout. So, yeah. We actually went to the school that 
um, used to be behind those trees, but it's not school anymore. I'm going to go right here. Keeping an eye on the traffic. My house is in there somewhere. I know where it is. Broken down car or something happening up above, so we're just gonna move over. Keep an eye on these trees because, yeah, not very many big vehicles come out into this lane. Straight over this roundabout here. Watch these Lana and this other car come in. There we go. Heading back to the yard, I'm going to be done for the day. Um, this Lana is going left, which is where we're going, so they're slowing down early because they're still learning. There's my mum. Okay. Make sure you give this learner plenty of space. Yeah, heading back to the yard. I've been to uh, Bristol and back today, just off the M48 deliver a machine over there for works over the next few days and then I'm on nights for the rest of the week which yeah it's all right a bit boring doing the nights but um, get used to it it's a bit of a pain going from days to nights though because it messes up your sleep a little bit more than just doing a week of nights Straight over on this roundabout as well. Learners slowing down, giving plenty of time and space. I'm not sure where they're going because they're in that lane, but they're not indicating. So, like I say, it's giving plenty of space. Oh, left the engine brake on. Get down to this roundabout. We definitely don't want to turn right because there's an 11 foot 9 bridge down there. So we'll definitely hit that. Uh, going straight over. Again, keep giving this learner loads of space. Not sure where they're going. I'm going to guess they're going right at this roundabout, but. No indication to say. There we go, they're going. Still don't know where they're going because they're still not indicating. Engine brake again. straight over. I think they were in the wrong lane then. Right at this roundabout. Well that learner's got 
some indication now. Deceptively long roundabouts. Start making our way over now. There we go. Nearly back in the yard now. this roundabout. There we go. My yard is just up on the left. I'm going to park outside if there's space. else I've got to do and I'm not going home and then turning around in the yard at this time of day when everybody's getting ready to go home it's a bit of a pain Just here. Keep an eye on that mirror at the back. In the back. There we go. Just about there will do. Handbrake on. All of that stuff. Yeah. Something a little bit different for you. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, let me know. And maybe I'll do another one. <laughs>